Hello everybody and welcome back. We are playing more Super Auto Pets today and we are just going to see what we get. Um, I am going to roll at the start here. Cricket. Cricket. Fish. We don't want to lose at the start. Hmm. We're going to be the slow investors because today I want to do a build they kind of just start slow. And we're battling the spicy babies. Okay, fair enough. So boom, we get a 1-1 one, one cricket. And then we lose anyway. It's an interesting thing where if you have 3 versus 2, it like kind of is like, eh. Um, none of these are very useful to us. Um, however, the pigeon generally useful pigeon again generally useful <laughs> sure why not we're gonna get so many bird seeds for free okay deal one damage marks one of our pigeons That really doesn't trade well into what they're trying to do. And we just lose another one. That's fine though, we are the slow investors, so I don't feel like we're just going to be winning out of the bat. And yeah, we lost so much life early on that we get to kind of have life now. So boom. Um, one thing we learned earlier was that Making it so that your build is about making things stronger can be pretty dang useful. Uh, especially when you have pigeons around. So essentially what we're going to be doing is getting one really interesting... Oh my god, look how many ducks they have. <laughs> but essentially what we'll be doing is... With these pigeons, we'll be able to make a lot of free food, give it to one unit, and then that unit will be super strong, and hopefully be able to carry us. That's what we're trying to hope for, essentially. Okay. Um, none of these seem too useful. Can you ever do any of these? This gives a level up, which could actually really help. Um, Oh fuck, I forgot about the other one. Giraffe. <laughs> Giraffe. Um, damn, we missed out on a um on a breadcrumb, unfortunately. Lord of the Portals, that's a very, very cool name. We have some in a 2 2 cricket, which is a bit more helpful. Thankfully, our pigeon <laughs> doesn't die from that one attack. However, we are going to lose this one still, which kind of sucks. But that's fine. We now have bigger tier animals. And I think what we're going to do is a crab based strategy. Um, well, we'll freeze this.
We're the slow investors yet again, so I think investing slow is better. We should probably uh, do it a bit differently. Ow. Okay. Doesn't really do anything. Yet again. Gets melon, unfortunately. And that kills us. But that's fine, because we're still, yet again, we're still going for the long game here. So we're going to upgrade this. Finally sell um, that. So we're going to put that at the back for now. We're going to put this forward so these things are getting buffed. And then essentially we're just going to... Um, hope to God we can find something good. Well, that is good. Hmm. Um. Takes 20 less damage once. I think the bison is just a bit too slow, but I think I would rather it over anything else right now. We're gonna end turn like this. Oh, right, the cricket. We should also get rid of that because then uh, we can have our buff solely be on one thing. However, this is kind of funny. Except for it's really bad. <laughs> I think we're gonna lose this one. Yeah, we are. Man, the slow investing really isn't paying off. There we go. That's what we needed this entire time. Um, I mean, it does something, but I think for now we don't need to worry about it as much. For now, we'll just do that. That way, the crab has a good thing to, like, really, you know, get some health from. And now we might actually be able to steamroll this a bit. Yeah, no, we're, we're eating good. <laughs> we're eating good. I think the bunny is okay, but I think the passive buffs from things like Giraffe is really strong too. But let's see if we can reversal sweep this one. Um, no. Hmm. That's pretty, pretty decent. I mean, it does something, you know. 
Like, I guess, like, it does do something. <clears throat> okay, not as good as I thought it would be. Two 12-15s on the board. Why would you... I don't... okay. I don't understand that one. Boom, we now have that. That is a tempting change. I don't think this is that crazy. But I think it's better than that. Okay. It feels good. So we have a 15-18, a 14-18, and deal 5 damage, which if it hits the dolphin... Okay, it didn't. That's fine. Get a little bit of HP, which doesn't matter, unfortunately. However, the crab that we have is going to be able to uh, do something for us, which is really nice. We have another victory. <laughs> Um, okay, um. I like that. Um, I could actually get the chocolate though. The problem is, is that at any point we just lose. And that's the scariest part. I think I'm going to put the melon on the hippo for sure. There we go. We are able to beat that one. Boar is also pretty interesting. I think I'm going to do this. Just the slow investing is coming around and it's really good for us. This is interesting though. Because that eats that, but it only summons one because it can't summon the rest of them. However, all of this summoning boosts my hippo to insane levels, which is awesome. Okay. 
Yes. And, interestingly enough, we are now able to get that max level. We'll freeze this. Um, we'll re-roll these. That's awesome. And now we're obviously going to lose. And it's going to suck so much because we're now actually in a really good spot. Okay, that's fine. Oof. Thankfully. Oh, wait, what? Damn, that sucks. However, our crab solos so hard. That's so awesome, because what that means is now we're able to get the penguin leveled up. We're now able to get the hippo leveled up. Um... And honestly, at this point, may as well. Um... Hmm... Getting that really good buff. Boom, we're able to thankfully kill that. Does give them all buffs, however, we are able to thankfully get our good buff on us, which gets compounded even more. We then take each other out, but then at that point, I'm just able to solo, which is awesome. Okay. There we go. Oh, please. If this if this leopard hits this fucking damn. It was going to be the craziest thing. Okay. Boom. Is this going to be a reverse 90? Um... I wonder if that works with that. That's worth trying to figure out. Look at that 40 health beast. Doesn't seem like it works like that. They take each other out. Boom. They get a bit of health, but I just get so much more. Yet again, getting buffed. It just feels like being a slow investor is really good. And we won! The crab and the hippo being able to tank it out when no one else could really actually let us win this one. Which is awesome. It's so cool though, the story of this one, because literally we were investing at a very slow rate. We're like, no, we're going to fine pick what we really want. And then at the end, it really came out for us. Uh, I love the crab. I love the hippo. I think the dodo is just not as good as the crab, because the crab being able to just be itself and then have like a lot of health. You could give the crab like poisonous, like uh, peanuts, and then have the uh, hippo give it a, lo a lot of health, or you know, another animal give it a lot of health, which is really, really useful. But yeah, that was absolutely amazing. And if you loved this video, then make sure to uh, be very happy to uh, Noob Popcan, who was obviously the person, YouTube member, who was like, yo, I wanna see you, I wanna see you play this. 
Uh, and thank you for saying that, because I actually am having a lot of fun with this. And yeah, this is another great episode. I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day, and I'll, I wonder what build we'll make next. See you next time.